Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a larval isolation. Um, we're going to start off with the materials. Um, first you're going to need a fecund Drosophila vial followed by an empty vial. I already transferred the adults but you're going to need to create another one to empty the adults into. A pre-made 15% sucrose solution, a sterile petri plate, a scoop, and a paintbrush. So to start off, you have your fecund culture that you let sit for a few days. You know it's fecund when you see all the pupa and larva. And you transfer the adults to here so you can see all the adults are here with fresh media and there are no adults left in here, just the larva inside the media. You can see uh, the tunneling, that means that there are larva present in the media. So first you're going to open the vial and with the scoop, scoop out some of the media. Then you take the petri plate and with the thicker side of the petri plate, you can use the paintbrush to help you. Just put the media in a clump in the center. Next you're going to take the sucrose solution and pour however much you want or you think is necessary into the plate and kind of mash up the media so it dissolves inside of the sucrose solution. And the sucrose in the water, the reason you're using a sucrose solution is because the larva begin to float to the top. I don't know if you can zoom. I can't. Okay. I'll pull it up. The larvae here are now floating to the top, if you can see them. So it's easier to pick out. You want to mash up all the clumps to make it easier so they all come out. Now one by one you're going to pick the larva and put them into the smaller half. At first it may take a while, but after doing it a few times it becomes a lot easier. They kind of stick to the bristles of the brush. That's why we use the brush instead of any other type of metal utensil. Usually, per testing or trial, you want to get approximately 15 to 30 larvae from here. And if you begin to see that there aren't many larvae left, you can't find them easily enough, you could just take another scoop from the fecund vial. They like to gather on the side, so it makes it easier to pick them up there. Got a few here. No, there's no construction based on that as far as I know. It's, 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 a, it's a pen and paper. So just as many as you think you'll need for the trial. Again, probably 15 to 30 average. Some vials will have more larvae than other. That's why it's important to look at the tunneling in the fecund culture because the more tunneling you see, the more larvae that are probably present. And if there's more pupa and... Um, or just pupa. If there are more pupa like on the sides, that means that it's been going for a while and there's most definitely going to be larvae in there. So all these are floating to the top. They're easy to catch. And then after a while, I mean, here's probably only like 10 or so, 15. After a while, they kind of sit in this pool. And here are the larvae you're going to use. And then you transfer them to your training plate to begin training and testing.